So this is part one of a three-part series based on a request of a video about how do we actually build resilience, right? So there was a video where I talked about the metaphorical meaning of mold and mold exposure people are having and the effects of the mold exposure is actually about our ability to be resilient. And so in this video, in part one, I'm gonna talk about biological resiliency. In part two and part three, I'll talk about mind and then of course energy and spirit resiliency. So how do you develop resiliency biologically? Well, first you need to understand the context. You need contrast, right, to to develop resiliency. You know, we, this shows up in, let's say when you make a, a an iron sword, right? You like put the iron in hot, hot coals, hammer it out, you fold it, then you put it in cold, then you put it in hot. So in other words, it needs hot and cold and folding to, it makes the steel or iron even stronger. And so that's the same thing biologically, right? We we don't want to live in a pristine, completely non-bacterial environment. You want to expose yourself to bacteria, but then from exposing yourself biologically to, let's say, a toxin, then you want to give it rest, right? We need a contrast of on or off, essentially. This is how workouts, right, make you stronger. You tax your body with a workout that exceeds your limit and you actually cause inflammation and some breaking down and cellular death in your, your tissues in order for your cells to become more resilient and stronger. And so biologically, it means you don't have to be so hypervigilant about, you know, this is the, the one issue of biohacking. It just builds people's vigilance. They're in linear vigilance, which I'll speak about when we get to the energy mind part, it actually works against you. And so you actually honor that you're exposing yourself to biological toxins, and then you do things to pull out the toxins, right? I mean, this is how homeopathy works. You're literally taking in the vibration, right, of something toxic so that your body develops resilience to that biological thing. Right? And so if you're wanting to develop your biological resilience, expose yourself to caustic, toxic things, and then take time to rest right? so that your body can adapt to those biological, caustic things. Right? So in other words, you hermetics, we're basically using the law of polarity and the law of rhythm in order to have a cause and effect on your system of adaptation and resilience. Right? And so the grand takeaway is don't be afraid of all the biological things. And yet, make sure that you're doing things in moments where you're not exposing yourself to the biological things. But in the moments of exposure, you're okay. You don't have to freak out. You honor it, right? And then you allow and trust that your system will build a resilience. But if you're constantly in fear of it, and when you're exposed, you're like, oh my God, this is horrible. You're, you're energetically blocking the adaptation and you become less resilient.